This is how Tom Weisling spent a lot of his summer. The University of Nebraska-Lincoln entomology professor combed the state, in this case a prairie area north of Lincoln, looking for signs of something that's getting harder to find, monarch butterflies. Here mostly I'm trying to find monarch larvae. In my last trip I looked at several hundred plants and I only found about four larvae. He's also looking for milkweed. Monarchs lay their eggs exclusively on milkweed, and it's the only thing the larvae will eat. So what'd you find? This is uh, called world milkweed. It's a real thin leafed milkweed. Not one that I'm used to seeing, but it's a milkweed. This sometimes tedious rough survey of dozens of counties is a first step in determining the decline of monarchs in Nebraska, a problem that's widespread. An Iowa State University report estimated an 81 percent decline in monarch production in the Midwest between 1999 and 2010, with a 58 percent decline in milkweed presence during the same time. Less milkweed will equal fewer uh, monarchs overall. But why this is happening can be controversial. Some say milkweed loss is caused by increased use of agricultural herbicides, some in agriculture say the monarch decline is also caused by a loss of forest land in Mexico where monarchs winter and temperature fluctuations. Ah, looky there. Look what we found. <laughs> One nice plump monarch caterpillar. Weisling says there are solutions that could work for different stakeholders and lead to more monarch caterpillars. It involves thinking differently about places where milkweed could be allowed to grow. I guess my approach would be you don't have to get rid of all of it. Maybe think of areas that are marginal for crops or areas that you don't put in any crop production that maybe you could grow some, some milkweeds on. And convincing businesses and homeowners to embrace milkweed as an addition to their landscaping. With the results of his summer survey in hand, Weisling and others hoping to revive monarch populations in Nebraska will meet later this year to talk more about strategies to save what he calls the bald eagle of American insects. For Harvest Public Media, I'm Mike Tobias.